I understand you guys have been around for about five years, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've been doing the stuff of making people smile for that long. We've been trying. We've been trying. But, you know, a big thing is when you hit that five year, I should know. I've got my 10-year wedding anniversary this Saturday. Well, congratulations. And that's a wonderful thing. You've got to remember Woo. that you always make your partner feel good. That's right. Five years. You know what five years is? That's the circle. That's actually the beginning of the circle. Oh, is it? Let me get some circles for you. All right. I thought it was the paper anniversary. <laughs> Where do I get you? Ten years. Ten years makes that. That makes it a lot easier. Well, go. we've got some circles here. We've got actually eight of them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one makes eight. That's three, right? That's right. Now the best thing is we're going to give one ring to Cat. Make sure that's real. It's real. It feels real, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Can you see through? I can see you through. You can see through. What we'll do is we'll actually make this easier. We'll get the one, two, three. There we go. We'll make it two like that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Which is cool. The, Duke, you can hang on to that one. Like I'm going to make Kat be the magician here. All right. Okay, Kat, I have not one, but I have two rings right here. I want you to blow on them. Woo! Did you feel that? Hmm. <laughs> You didn't blow for it. Didn't, didn't work hard enough. Let's try one at a time. That was the problem. Let's try one at a time. Let's go. One, two, three, blow. Hup. Boy, she blew. That was a good one. I didn't even do anything. You got to blow, girl. Blow. You got magic. I, I was okay, blowing. Okay, Kat, let's try it one more time. We go one, two, three. Hit. Blow. All right. There we go. There we go. Now we got three over here. Now, you feel that? Yeah. That's like yeah. having a wedding ring with only more weight. Oh, oh. Oh, we do that one You sure you want to make 10? There we go. I'm going to make 10. I'm not sure because actually my wife puts up with the jokes. Okay. She wrote that one, so that's a good one. You're a good lady. But I tell you what, we're going to take this ring right here and I'm going to show Duke how to take it because everybody loves to be a magician. Yes, I They love to. being magicians. They actually can find out that it's very simple to make things happen. Uh oh. No, can I try that at all? No, uh, you get what you can do is you can actually make them come like this if you do it really hard. <laughs> so if you do it like this, you have these two, but Duke, I'm going to show you the simple way. Right. Now, uh, let's see here. Can you put the microphone down for just a second? Yes, I don't care. Because I'm going to teach Duke how to take his rings apart. Cat, you watch carefully. Okay. Duke, take your rings out in front of you like this. Bring them together. I want you to rub real hard right in the center. Right there. Go whoosh. Whoosh. Boy, he's got magic. Wow. Oh, now we got trouble, dude. We got trouble right there in River City. Real hard, real hard. Oh, dude, we got to practice. I'm going to borrow these rings right here. Because, in fact, if we got three right here, it's going to be a lot easier to make it just like this much. Now we got three over here. We got four. One, two, three. I can actually take this one off the bottom just like that. But the hard part is to bring it back up where it goes up, 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 and goes right like this, right here. Cat's going what in the world? The magic of rings. And she's right next to me, so she's watching everything. I know. Especially I when you do like this, when you got to show circles like that. This is even weirder because one in the middle like that. Then you bring one up like this. What we're going to do is we're going to make something everybody likes to get when they're walking with a magician. We're going to actually take these two. Take this one. Take this one right here. Take these last two over here. We're going to make something for both Duke and Cat. A great big round of applause for helping me out. That's Mr. Calvin in the ring. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Illusionist John Calvin. So I'll give this to you. Let everybody know about yourself. Well, basically, I moved to Tucson back in 2008 because I got tired of winter. <laughs> Originally from Wisconsin, any Baker wow. fans in the audience? Any Packer fans in the audience? One! I like it that we got a Packer fan in the audience. There's always one. There's always one. Actually raised up in Green Bay, but the last few years before I moved down here, I was living in Madison. But I got down here and I found out that we have the most extensive magic community I have ever seen. We have more professional magicians in this city than I ever knew. We actually have the great John Schrock lives here. He's actually worked Vegas, worked the cruise ships, worked Hawaii, works worldwide. We have a lot of great magicians here. We just have to have people like yourselves letting us know that we're here because people out there need to hire more local magicians and make us happy. That's right. You guys perform. Do you perform anywhere else in town? I know you were doing Second Saturdays there for a while. I've been, I've been working.
work in Second Saturdays, and luckily I've been with Second Saturdays since the inception. They actually had me come on the first, second Saturday, and they haven't gotten rid of me yet. So where do people find you? They actually find me right now. I've been working at the children's area, which is over by the old railroad uh, depot over on Tool. I only work there from about 5.30 to 7.30 at night, because right before the movie starts, they have me doing balloons twisting and making magic and having smiles. And you know something? Everybody needs a smile, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> right. So how do people get contact? Okay. Well, people can contact me. The easiest way is to go to my website. It is John Coppin Magic. That's all one word. Dot com, or you can contact me at 520-301-8787, and we'll make sure your next event or party is the most magical one that you can enjoy. All right. Okay. Well, well, my birthday, my birthday's coming up in August, so maybe you can make me disappear. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to keep you <laughs> going for a long time. Take it. All right. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time with Mr. John Coffin.